Hello beautiful, delicious, beloved heart. So much love and blessings to each of you from Long Island. I'm just getting ready to be on a call with Valerie and uh, she's my dear sacred divine sister regarding this lion's gate, so this galactic call and I'm gonna be recording this so hopefully it will come across. Let's see um, if I can do it this way so the voice can be heard hopefully let's see getting ready for it and i'll have you guys right here as i will be joining in to it again so let's see so this is all regarding the lion's gate and this blood full moon and the um and also the total lunar Eclipse and Valerie and I felt called to share some of our insights on this and hopefully you'll be able to hear it and I haven't done this before to be on a live stream where I tune in so uh, getting ready to get that started and what's so beautiful is that um, each of us have our own Part in this incredible divine plan, the divine consciousness of the oneness, the principle of oneness, the dolphin beings and the whale beings have been helping us together with the lions, the royal lions of the Sirius star, and when it aligns to the center of the galactic um, center, I have shared a couple of videos from the last couple of years regarding the influence of this um, the Lion's Gate, the Stargate of the Lion's Gate, and its connection to Earth because as it connects to our central sun inside and the the inner, the cosmic sun, the sun, we are the sons of the daughters of beloved source. So from that, that is opening up, and it just so happened to be this alignment that is connecting to the central sun which the sun of it is in Cyrus Sirius and then from there it connects to the galactic sun and of course all the way to source the peak of it being the 8-8 and uh, we just happen to tune into this total lunar eclipse which the lunar, the lunar energy the full moon of it which is so important this blood full moon it also helps the reflection of the sun and that that Part of it. it's not the shadow it's the reflection of that incredible sun the radiance of that sun and when we can really bring that in harmonization within us is the key to all of this so it's very beautiful to speak about all these galactic codes and the octaves and the different dimensional fields and the presence and while we're in this the today being thursday the 27th of july the opening of the gateway over this these next couple of weeks and then the center of it being on 8a what does it really mean on humanity what does it really mean to just experience this those of us who are then leading front of the ascension and opening these divine codes within the blueprint that's already in there and this blue ray of light from Sirius that is awakening inside our cellular structure and what does it mean to to really experience this multidimensionally and having to live in the human experience because I feel there's a lot of fancy language around it which is so beautiful, it's very cosmic, it's very galactic but in application if you're unable to deliver the its presence then you're really not um, serving the divine and that's I, what I feel is really the key in this which I'll be discussing and um, let me just check <laughs> getting ready to get on here and so I'm looking forward to what Valerie and I are going to be sharing with each other and uh, hoping that I'm <laughs> trusting that the way I'm having this is going to be perfectly shared and and also I feel like her and I are connected to, and there's so many aspects of it, but the galactic codes and the diamond codes of the Magdalene is the key as uh, one of my planetary healing work when I went to south of France, um, when I went to the Magdalene cave and what I was asked to deliver by beloved Yeshua and the Magdalene. Afterwards, nine hours later, because she's, she's in California side, 
we were able to exchange some information and and two other sacred sisters of mine were also involved that shared and within that I had gone with two of my sisters from south of France and and the Council of Light came through me explaining a few things and there were certain frequency fields that we had to get into to be able to bring the sound of Magdalene from underneath into the surface because it's been so suppressed and hidden and and uh, the, the, the codes of her light have been suppressed on our planet and she's a huge key in that um, in that awakening of the sacred divine feminine in its purity in its incredible grace of God inside so that we can really live from that place of the beingness not in the doingness through the feminine principle the divine principle of the divine mother and divine father and the empowerment of what's in so the sound is very important part of this and and uh, and there's a whole lot more into this as well. And uh, for those of you who have been following and you got a chance to also be a witness that I um, had, I was guided to um, celebrate the Feast of Mary Magdalene in Washington, D.C. I was guided by Mary Magdalene to put an event together and there were 13 beautiful Magdalenas that attended. And from there, um, really incredible things took place and the next day which was this past Monday I was guided to create the Magdalene Sacred Divine Hearts in Washington DC and from all over people can join the Sacred Divine Hearts the Sacred Masculine Hearts so that they can really um, sit in that presence and bring that forward whether those who feel they were together with Magdalene during the time of Christ or during the time of Atlantis or during the time of Lemuria and uh, they really stand tall within the presence of uh, her sacred union with beloved Yeshua and uh, and everything and everything regarding the, her, the Gnostic teachings and the Essenes and and those who are channelers of her, who she directly communicates with us to bring those messages forward to help strengthen all of us in the purity flame. And uh, I welcome you to join. It's called Magdalene Sacred Divine Hearts. And it's open to everyone who feel called to it, but just we're keeping away from the politics and religions and all of those and we're really keeping it in honor and celebration of her true presence and her um, incredibleness. Let's see if Valerie is on now. So it's 2.08 and she wanted to get on at uh, 2.11, which is would be 11.11 her time in, um, in Los Angeles. So Valerie and I have known each other for a while and it's been beautiful. She's also been a big part of the uh, of this solar disks that uh, Michael and I have been working with on the planet through Lord Melchizedek in the activation and the and then the, the zero point field of transformation of the oneness through these golden energies and so it was beautiful she had a chance to uh, share a post on that and um, and just the fire I, I am in Long Island at my sacred divine sister Conchetta who is a Syrian star seed, and um, so we are here because Michael is facilitating the Archangel Michael transformational healings, and we're also here for this beautiful gateway. And um, tomorrow we have a galactic dispatch ceremony, full fire ceremony, and a dispatch ceremony, and we'll be outside in that celebration. So it should be really incredible. So we have one more minute. She should be signing on. So let's see how this is going to go. I don't know whether I'll be using this. I'm attempting to um, have my uh, the live stream, the sound of it, be open here. So let's see if it can be done this way. I don't know. She asked me to... I've not done this before, so thank you for your patience. She asked me, I said, how are we going to do this on live stream? She said, there's a button. You just join in, and uh, 
when she starts it she'll join me in and I'm hoping the sound will come through so it will be on here and uh, if I have to then put uh, this on then um, it will be missed and we'll just welcome you to watch it on the live stream. So interesting, these technical parts. Thank you for watching. Thank you for being present. Hello, Valerie. Welcome, Let's welcome. See. This is my Facebook Live. Yeah. How's everyone doing? I'll give everybody a few minutes. Uh, so this is my rescheduled Facebook Live from yesterday. Hi, honey. Hi, my Hi, love. Raymond. And I'm very excited because I'm going to be with my beloved sacred sister, Honey Borden. We have, this is our first Facebook Live. I can't believe it. And yes, I have the sparkle feature on. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, welcome. How's everyone doing? How's everyone doing? Wow, the, I was uh, going to do a Galactic Alignment Live. Can everybody hear me okay? I turned up my volume. Uh... <sighs> Hey, Peter. Oh, I haven't brought you on, honey, yet. I'm okay. just kind of letting everybody come on. Okay, so hopefully you guys but can yes, hear. But yes, bring them on camera. So I'm going to bring honey on. We're going to talk about this blood full moon, the opening of the lion stargate. Ah. Mm. <laughs> so beautiful. Adding, adding, adding. <laughs> So if you have questions for me or Connie, you can post them here. Uh, if you want to get, you know, yeah, this is, this is, of course, a very powerful week. I'm already getting some light language, so we'll see. I'm super open to what wants to come through. Of course, we all know what's happening this week, and this is the uh, gateway. There she is. Yay. Yay. Oh, perfect. Can you hear me, Valerie? Yes, I can. Oh, perfect. Thank you so much. <laughs> Let me see. Okay, perfect. So I'm also videoing this, so that way we can oh, get beautiful. it on board so I can share it later. Welcome. Welcome. What an honor. Mm, what an Thank honor. Thank you for joining me. I, know, I can't believe it's our first one. I'm quite surprised. I know it is quite a surprise because we have shared this magnificent space so many times so it's it's just incredible to be in it in here. Let me just adjust my so I just want okay, to make sure the volume up. Can everybody hear us? Is my volume all right as well? Maybe a little bit more. I'll okay, just let put me mine see. up. Okay, how about that? Oi. <laughs> because it's Perfect. over my Okay, that's better. Beautiful. Mm. So we've got we've got a lot of a lot of action, a lot of energy on this on this Facebook Live between Hani and I. So I'm very excited to see what will come through. Of course, uh, we are very similar in our um, sisterhood in the Magdalene energy, which I love that you just created this beautiful group. And I am feeling uh, that divine feminine, uh, of course, the, the next level of service that yes. many of us, I talked about it this morning, are being called into. 
as well as being my dear galactic sister mm -hmm. and our connections in those sacred realms yes. over the years and sacred travels yes. and there's just so much that we share so thank you again for being here i'm so <laughs> grateful valerie deeply grateful for so much and just this incredible gift in this moment that we get to in this divine agreement to just come together live now on particularly this day and this week and so much that we've shared for lifetimes but particularly within this week and that essence I feel like our greater bond between the galactic energies and the consciousness that yeah. we bring forth but being mothers I feel it the bond of mother and the connection yeah. to Gaia the connection to the divine mother of all creation is that key between you and I and our devotion and as we spoke last week feeling like we're kind of like the seniors now because we're sort of like <laughs> so grateful that there's been a lift on many others that have now aligned that are forward so we are moving forward to the next phase of our service and I couldn't be more grateful for this just this time and space <laughs> continuum that you and I get to celebrate and with everybody on this frequency together with that Magdalene heart so <laughs> I'm so grateful my divine divine sister thank you so much and thanks to thank everyone you, on the call yeah thank you and this Patricia. is for your honor oh yay I know I was I so funny because I took a picture there's a beautiful uh uh Poinsettia bush on my walk from, uh. from Jake's school and I took a picture yesterday uh, I didn't post it but I sent it to uh, a beloved uh, soul brother so very much feeling the rose the flowering you mentioned motherhood which you know has its many challenges uh, <laughs> especially with the little ones so I just want to say hello to all the divine mothers yeah. out there who have agreed to bring in these, you know, star seeds and leaders of the new earth, That's I call right. them, and fathers. That's right. Uh, Raymond Powell was on, and he is father to three divine, mm. divine, divine ones, divine girls that I have met. And all of us, uh, you know, including myself, being called into this higher level of service with the children. That's right. Um, it's so, it's so strong, and so I just you know, asked, wh however I'm going to be involved, I know I've been involved on on a higher level, on bringing in, uh, as you have been, encoding and grounding and integrating all of these energies. That's right. So then we're able to access them and move in these feminine circles. And, and, the, and the service um, to the masculine, yes. Of course. This yes. is the divine union. That's right. Uh, I mean, this is all of us. We're, we're, right. we're, we've had our time to work through, <laughs> you know, our our traumas, our family, uh, miasms, you know, the history of this planet and all of the different aspects of being here. That's we've right. had a, a many years to, to transmute, you know, as individuals. And now as a collective, a unified field, I love we have 22 viewers, <laughs> as a unified field <laughs> of the children of Gaia, who we are the children of Gaia, so when That's I right. say children, it's all of us, That's right. of course the, the young ones, the young masters have been asking us to step forward to help them, to assist them making the way for them to come through that's right keeping them safe giving them a chance to speak their truth that's right and just this morning just this morning the dragon energy I've been weaving a lot yeah. with the dragon council the last few days yes and this dragon uh, Academy you know those are the words uh, 
uh, wants to be born, wants to come through many of us. Uh, and it, it just is about creating those safe containers for the children to operate within. So that I'm very clear on, along with the animals. So I, for me, the flip is the children and the animals That's leading right. the way with, with the divine, you know, with us, with That's the, right. the, uh, the, the adults uh, who are, are holding the space for them That's right. and, and being their voice. So that seems to be a very much in my field today, as many of you watching, uh, and so, yes, yeah, so please share. And it's the same with me uh, because Valerie is this the same resonance. We, in the incarnation of this garment of the sacred divine feminine, we have okay. had to go through, as so as the Ascension team has explained, many of us who've chosen to go through, sign up for the dramas and the traumas of this last incarnation to sort of like jam pack everything in and from everything from all these other lifetimes that have been in the, the training ground so that we can go through the process of the alignment with the codes of the divine principle and the oneness, then incarnate here to experience the deepest depth of density just so that we can be in the resurrection flame and that purity flame so we can lead the way and lead the way as Mary Magdalene so generously has continuously be reminded to the sacred divine feminine on this planet as the container for these crystal diamond rainbow children and also for yes. their harmonization and the synchronicity of this pulse of mother that you know, in its unison with the cosmic mother, with our own. So we're all living in that same song, that same frequency, that same pulse, and that cosmic, really cosmic dance. Hello, sweetheart. There's a beautiful dog here with me. It's Conchetta's dog. So with that, it's been, you know, and Magdalene energy really brings that forward. The children, the divine compassion, the quality of divine compassion. That's right. I have that one too. Exactly. That exact, that exact one, because you know I have Durga. The I had Durga, the dragon, which Jim and Crystal are now the owners of it, the Red Beard Dragon. So, the, so the, coming also to Thank that, you. it's so precious, precious. And Conchetta's here. We'll introduce her in a second too. And so, what what's so important on us as the container, the container of the sacred divine feminine is the huge key for this forward frequency for our these particular children that are here we have had to go as it was explained to you we came to sort of transmute all of these densities it's like that network of light in this geometric pattern so it can fully be that that higher consciousness of that gold frequency of the ge geometric form so only divine quality can radiate yeah so we have had to transmit it so we've been in the forefront of the extreme density paving the way so that then now these ones as you have you have your son that's coming in with that frequency my two sons so they have an easier yeah. way just so they can they can serve their divine purpose on the planet and and I yeah. feel like you and I, you know, I've, I've often spoken with this in a lot of my talks. There's something still in the consciousness of the planet when a, a male, in, in, a, somebody in the male form that receives the calling to serve and that has to get on the road, has to like leave everything and to go serve this, this the, the divine calling that was asked to serve. But there's something when we are mothers and we are, we've been yeah. it's the revelation has come in to go from whichever form that it has but the incredible judgment towards it the incredible challenge we in the female form that on top of everything else the oppression and the suppression all of that have to face to then break that and again lead but lead with divine love and i feel that's been the key the key, yeah. the key, the key continuously because um, it won't be delivered properly for the animals and our children of this uh, Mother Earth. It, it just, yeah. it won't be delivered. 
you can see behind me the uh, it's the uh, <laughs> the Sri Yantra. That's right. To be in this picture because, of course, this is you know when we talk about divine union, it's divine union within. It's That's balanced, right. It's masculine and balanced feminine. And is this container, as you said, the golden light, and much of what uh, you know, the implementation of all of that now. So many of us working on that inner balance, masculine, feminine, the healthy uh, union, divine union. And I'm just seeing eleven, eleven, because for me, that's what came through was when I was in Mount Shasta. That's right. Um, at <laughs> So the, the, beauty, the beauty of what came in, which was grounding this divine union, the one one, which is a balanced masculine feminine with another one one balanced masculine feminine That's right. as these divine couples of course come together and uh, reignite Field because as we as we ground in these divine codes or codex is what wants to be said, right. moving into the next phase, which is you know again the implementation now That's right. of everything that many of us have been working on for years. That's right. Uh, specifically or consciously working on it, right? That's right. And also, I love that you mentioned this judgment because even a few days ago. It was so interesting. There's so much that has come in this week, uh, and and I say kind of, of explosions in my field, all to 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 open the attention. And one of them was actually a, a woman, a mother that I know, who was judging my son, and uh, right next door, which was so interesting. And her name was Sarah, and then Sarah, this name yeah. kept coming up, and I thought. Okay, she's getting my attention for a purpose. That's right. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this is about divine leadership and how, like you said, the judgment yeah. of mothers from mothers. Oh, okay, I've had that's women. been the most. Yeah, yeah, the <laughs> like, most. Okay, aren't we in this together? You know, we think we are, and then those yeah. things come up, and so to be able to stand in that truth, that's and it right. really, uh, you know, I, 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 it was something else that came through another form, but. To really understand that when we step out, and I got this message years ago from the Divine Mother, when you step out and start talking about this and showing the strength that you will not be pushed over or covered up, that yeah. this is the the elements of our feminine essence That's of right. the strength That's right. of the feminine. It is not loud. Mm -mm. It, it is not uh, angry. No. It is... With such love. That's right. With such divine love. That's right. It's so, it's so true. This, right? And so just to see that in my immediate, and I just, you know, I, I had this flash of anger, but it shifted to compassion. Yeah. Because I know this woman, and she's a mother. And so it was interesting to have her criticize me and my and my son, and I thought, no, children, to them. It is no longer we tell we're telling them what to do. No. And I will not be quiet and I will not have my child be quiet. Yeah. Because he is a lion and he is here to lead this new earth with many of our children. That's right. And so that it, it kind of fueled my fire yeah. uh, of uh, you know and it's funny, she kept saying, Oh, love and light, love and light, you know, in this very condescending yeah. way to me and I thought Yes, love and light, but love and light does not mean that everything is divine all the time and that we are these angelic creatures that don't have fire. I am fire. I am. Oh, that's where we found, Valerie. That's where we found. I know. Fire. I'm bringing it today. That's right. My essence is fire, and fire is a powerful transmuter. That's right. And so if I lose my temper, if my dragon comes up, so be it. Because I encompass all different aspects of the feminine. That's right. She is not just quiet in the corner. She is ferocious. 
and and that's the the mother energy yeah. again we are mothers we understand that there is this you know oh, yeah. that's right yeah. that's this, you know the dragon so the couple of things if i if i can just just we're in this window of the the window of this lion gates that open up we're in this total lunar eclipse the moon energy full moon energy which is the reflection of the sun as that within our womb radiating its sun its light its frequency which is divine's love presence divine's love presence there is a it has passion it has fire we call it always the passion of christ not it was never like that but this in its gentleness there's a grace that's so powerful and the magdalene energy that we know it's that embodiment of truth the truth it's so powerful in it but it is there's no there's no there's a there's a part of this beautiful dance like Mary Magdalene a couple of nights ago was so interesting I kept making this sound the rrr, rrr, which is the the non the, the resistance is no longer the reaction is not the the, the responses but it's the release that release in that breath that spirit right that they call it spirit yeah. then because it's breath <laughs> and that breath which is the fire that holds it, which can, which is that dragon yes. inside there are the four dragons michael and i work the all the fire. time exactly which is the holy fire in which is so illuminated yeah. from from the center of divine's heart and mind and that illumination within the sun the solar sun the solar disc 12 solar disc inside of us is so magnified yeah. in which in which I feel like sometimes with the mothers we said there seems to be that judgment because the illumination of that truth within them is also projecting out because they know also that same truth you know and it's just yeah. when you're in it so the geometric field is so illuminating that it, it allows this sort of like this sort of like a debris I call it to 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 surface uh -huh. So the purity can come. And I feel we are now finally in this phase because those of us like you and I, there's so many other ones, we have laid the foundation of these codes, working with the different ley lines, working with the different grids. I've been assigned to the third grid system the last six years, working with these codes and many different parts yeah. of the earth, just as you have. And as that's been set within the core of Mother Earth, now this debris has been releasing, but so, but what's been asked for us to just be in it, in the beingness. And that's where you and I are moving into the next phase, not the doingness, the yeah. beingness. We gotta, we're honing in the sacred divine feminine, sacred <laughs> divine masculine principles in here. And from that, <laughs> So then we're together with this to, it, it's that together energy it's like I, I feel you're just holding our hands and give me a second let me just introduce you to come to the come here this is my syrian come come this way. this is my syrian gorgeous divine goddess sister who's hosting us here in smith and for a second i wanted to introduce you oh, yeah. to together and to the audience that. come here Hi. Hi. <laughs> this Hi. is conchetta she's nice to meet you, you. So she's been the big holder of this light here on in this portal here and working yeah. through the pyramids under here and her come here studio a little bit more of that light. Yeah, and, and so we we're so blessed to be hosted here with the community just so that we can be in this in the beingness of the divine quality yeah. and also not afraid to communicate from the place of yeah. grace. But it's firm that this is not in the resonance of that judgment is not in the resonance, and we are the we are the embodiment of the remembrance of the divine principles that we don't need to project it out of it, but we're not taking the shit either. Amen. Yeah.
Oh my god, we're how done. cute. I don't think I've ever heard you say the word shit. <laughs> oh, I say, okay, ask Michael. He'll tell you. I say, okay. We're not dealing with the bullshit, remember? Wait, I want to tell you, you I want to tell you something. With Conchetta's family, last time we were here, we wanted to release some of this fire, right? And the anger. Yeah. And we had also her family yeah, involved yeah. right here in this background taking her beautiful, gorgeous dishes <laughs> and putting every curse word in the dish and smashing and then, it in the middle of us. <laughs> full, oh, full oh. moon midnight oh my with her That's children. My children, my husband, we all just let it all out in our plates Isn't and that with the Greek smash. Food, right? I, feel I think at weddings, today. right? Don't they do it at weddings? Yeah. It's, and Greece is on fire, a lot of it. Or That's of right. It, or I, I feel like it's a no lot coincidence. of fire... Yeah, there's no coincidence because for me, Egypt and Greece are, right. are the source code. They they hold the source code. That's right. For the for the human and the divine human, they they, they hold those keys. That's right. So a lot of my work has been about that those aspects. That's right. I just want to say yeah. uh, thank you. Everyone's commenting questions. Okay. I don't know if we'll get to everybody during the live, but uh, Honey and I will look through. That's so right. So if we don't get to you. We'll answer but, uh, yeah, afterwards. Yeah, we'll answer. But we're holding the coast. I'm in Los Angeles. That's right. And we're at this end. <laughs> That's right. And we'll be tomorrow night. We'll be doing it. We'll be, uh, Valerie, tomorrow night, private setting here. Just We're doing a galactic despacho fire, fire oh, ceremony. Okay. But for our way, what, what is right, again, to help the community here in, in, in being in this in this incredible gateway, the cosmic gateway of crystal slide, the crystalline matrix that is, in, yes. that is, and we talked about this, that is where we get to interact with, but we have to bring it here on earth. And it has to come through our physical garments. It has to be embodied into here so it can be of service. Ripple out. And, and yes. I'm so glad this galactic goddess has stepped forward in her service and the, and the community together because we all are coming together in our force of light. Amazing. That's right. United in heart and mind of yes. divine. Yes. Beautiful. It's our time. It's our time. It's our time. Let's Let's do it. <laughs> Thank you. Mwah, I love so you. nice to meet you. Thank you. Thanks for joining. Thank you for hosting. Thank, Thank you. you. Okay. So, yes, somebody was asking. We are speaking light language. Uh, we do speak uh, real time to each other. That's right. And so I love that because it is, as many of you know, who, who follow both of us, no. who are friends with both of us, it is that language of light. It's, uh, it is language of the soul, and That's it right. has a vibration. Uh, oh, from Greece. Beautiful. Hi, Sophie. We were just <laughs> talking about Greece. Um, and many blessings over there. I know sure. there's fires all over. We have a fire, a big fire nearby in, uh, right by Palm Springs mm. right now. Uh, so the fire essence, that mother essence of its transmutation and many of the aspects of what's here, um, you know, in the, in, in thank you, Joshua, in the deep individual way. And, and even from uh, this, you know, like the Big Island, what's right. happening there, Pele. That's right. Uh, the message that I got about this is the resurrection of the divine feminine in physical form. That's right. So everybody can see it. That's right. right. Because many of us who work in the other realms have been doing this for years, but it hasn't been a tangible right. aspect in 3D, in the, in the physical. So to actually see this resurrection to to witness the rebirth right on Gaia within Gaia the galactic center in the cosmic center That's all right. of these aspects that are all aligning and have been aligning so it's almost like a clock you know we keep That's getting right. closer to what many call the event you know the, right. the, the pieces of our uh, divine uh, heritage here on earth what we're bringing into this new paradigm through our hearts. And yes. this is the heart-centered leadership uh, that came through this morning. That's right. Feminine leadership, exactly. which is not just women, 
But no. I am feeling a, a much stronger essence of women That's right. being asked to step up. And, and I'm being asked, as right. I'm sure you are, many of you watching. That's so, right. And, and if I... Is the, yeah, yeah. There, you've touched up on a couple of very important things that I like to really bring forth because it was exactly what was shared in my in the last week Sunday in the Sacred Feast of the Mary Magdalene, Washington D.C. For those of you that know, I reside in Washington D.C. and moved from California back there, and been working on the the the, the that grid specifically that needs a lot of love there's been a lot of fight towards the transformation but the love is the key in the transformation of it so yes. we gathered and that's why the magdalene sacred divine hearts uh, Mag Mary magdalene Hello, had Patrick. that's right that was um, brought forth as a result of that which she guided but let me just bring this back this fire element there's a consciousness along many of us who are there's no spiritual path it's just the alignment of the spirit within that 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 in which we already are in that remembrance and there's been this journey we call it this journey of awakening in that ascension and what has been so fascinating there's been a lot of um, uh, let's say what we would call like for example it's been trouble uh, how you say it? Um, uh, uh, turbulent uh, turbulent no um, yeah like child turbulent <laughs> yeah, that that was. <laughs> Turbulent. That's right. Turbulent. And it's been, I know. Yeah, it's been the challenges and all of, all of that. And I shared this in my group. If we take three steps back from the lens of divine, we recognize the perfection in the divine imperfection. Because it's not that the universal component is against that. It's for us. And what it's actually doing, it's using the fire in the transformation of the will into divine will. And this, this blue ray of light from the central sun to the galactic yes. sun to source light, which is the peak of this lion's gate through Sirius, is exactly yeah. this. Because Marianne. what it what it does is it gives us, and of course with the Maha Kohan and the first ray of light, the temple of El Moria, yeah. which I, I'll tell about you about that in a second, which I was speaking, um, he was speaking through me to Michael, he brought yeah. some information. Oh, yeah. And But that will, when it is transformed into divine will, it recognizes that fire is the necessary component in the transformation of the density within our codes that are blocking the rays of the light through our own rainbow light in our 50 trillion cells because this vessel is a light code that is to transmute to 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 radiate the divine codes of light all all of it but what happened it blocks it and this blue ray of light helps transfer it so that then these these incredible rays of the flame of light can um, yes. move. So when we recognize in gratitude what universal forces, what's been repeated, repeated, <laughs> repeated, is repeating again, that is coming out of love to help us in our alignment, then we no longer resist it, we release it in the breath. And I feel that's that <laughs> consciousness through the heart in that sacred divine feminine, we can we can all welcome it. And yeah. and and not hone the energy so much there, but just right. in gratitude. So that's where we, you and I just, we notice that. But, wow, but, there, love on that one. Yeah, but there's, there's a lot of, I feel there's a lot of, there's a lot of this, there's been a lot of this um, sort of like judgment and, and uh. uncompassionate way of, of the attitude towards ourselves, and when our ascension attitude turns into divine love within, we really—that's <laughs> right. Because we, we realize, oh my God! Like often we hear, oh my God, I just went through it. Why is it repeating again? Well, it's repeating because yeah. what was held within these codes, in the energies, in the in the emotion, now now you've you've been expanded enough that you can hold the frequency. So now it can be released with grace. Grace is the yeah. key. Compassion is the key. Love is the yeah. key. You know, union is the key. And it's the, that is the key. And the together is the key. And I feel we are asked as the leaders who've taken ownership of this 
to lead it by just the example of beingness because I feel, you know, you and I speak very elaborate language of the octaves and the galactic codes. Okay, at the end of it, what matter is it if you're not embodying the divine love? Yeah. If you're not service yeah, to our sisters and brothers in love. Yes. In, so, yeah. and, and, and I feel at the end of it, it's the action towards the animals and the children and the humanity is the key at the very yes. end. And that's where I feel yes. the love you and I share with each other is, is really coming from that because you and I just, we let Conchita, we come the together in there. Right. It's Divine Mother. We're that's right. Divine Mother is many, many of the, the women watching. And so, you know, coming together to uh, create new systems. That's to, right. Uh, you know, the Matrikas, we're in the age of the Matrikas, the Divine that's Mothers, right. because the time has come on a global level for the, the mothers to step in to rewrite, That's right. to update, to uh, you know provide that space, the That's safe right. space That's for right. the children That's right. and the animals and this planet to survive and thrive. Actually, for all of us. That's right. For all of the the the, uh, the children of Gaia, you know, those are the that message has been coming through, and I've just been saying, I agree. "Okay, I'm ready. I'm ready to lead. I'm ready to step into this next phase." And it's the leadership also within yes. our own inner child. I've been doing a yes. lot of this, that inner child, and I and I want to share. I feel this is also very key because Mary Magdalene it's had brought this. Mm. She had Second. said. When she guided, she said, there is no reason for suffering anymore. Because, yes, that's right. and the, the, the inner child is held. When we can, in our morning prayer, Ella, I do this every morning, where the divine mother of all creation and the divine father holds my inner child. That I don't have to be the protector, me in my human con embodiment to be of that 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 the stress of it and it's released so it is yes. held in the fire in the direction of the reese the the ray of that beautiful eagle energy the white eagle that was appeared that is held so and i feel when we give ourselves permission to be held by the divine mother that part is taken care of so we can lead properly yes. and 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 the, the the experience of suffering is transformed from the place of love and joy we are leading the the syrian high council when they spoke through me on um, may 19th here in smithtown when i was uh, having the event channeling with the masters that was the hugest key valerie that it has to be led by joy. And we've been often yes. in, 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 in service of the, the suffering. That suffering will not allow us to bring the, the new realities, the new cities the new of life. light. That's right. Thank yes. you. And this is the Magdalene piece. Which That's I right. Feel that it, it, the, the, the suffering, the aspect of that, which for me, some of those pieces were very much felt in my being and yes. my energetic field of that abandonment, right? right? Because if you look at all the strong feminine figures in our historical, yeah. uh, the historical aspect, there is this abandonment from That's the, right. you know, for the feminine and the masculine. And so we've all done so much to heal these aspects, this abandonment, right? Because yes. this is the piece if, if once we're able to transmute that, like you said, with fire, with the divine. <laughs> Thank you, Amazon. Thank <laughs> <laughs> you. Thank you. No, nothing. I love that. A, a divine delivery. Perfect timing. Um, <laughs> the Amazon goddesses. <laughs> the Amazon goddesses. <laughs> Delivered yeah. through a, a male uh, delivery person. Anyway. Um, <laughs> And it's funny you mentioned Durga because uh, that divine mother, Durga, riding the, 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 the lion, right? Mm -hmm. Riding this passion, this compassion. Because for me, it, it is very much in the same, the fire of truth, yes. as you were saying. I feel that so deep. And to speak our truth. 
we're here to speak our truth, regardless of how we're received or regardless of, of others' judgments that they That's might true. have in these projections. And I know that everything that transpired in my universe this past week was about that. That's right. Right? That's Can right. I stand in my own fire, in my own you truth, got it. regardless That's right. of what's coming? Because I have come out of this 